Dyson just unveiled its first wearable product, and it's not what you think it is. The device is called the Dyson Zone, and it's a set of noise-canceling, air-purifying headphones. It comes with a detachable visor for the bottom half of the wearer's face that looks, to put it mildly, odd. That visor actually blows filtered air to your nose, mouth, and chin, sort of like a portable fan dedicated to the lower portion of your face. Dyson integrated a smaller version of its air filtration system into the ear cups, and the idea is that people can protect themselves from pollution while out and about. The zone might seem like a response to the pandemic, but Dyson says this device has actually been six years in the making. It's not born so much from a desire to keep out COVID-19 germs per se, but more as a way for people to breathe less polluted air wherever they go. The zone is not only a wearable air filtration system, but it's also the company's first audio product. In fact, Dyson describes it as headphones delivering pure air and pure sound. If you're thinking this thing looks absurd, you're not alone. My first reaction to seeing this thing was complete and utter amusement. So when Dyson offered to show me the contraption in person, I just knew I had to see and try this thing out for myself. Sadly though, the company didn't allow us to take any photos or videos, so I'll do my best to describe the experience. My biggest takeaway after spending some time with a prototype is that, yes, it looks just as ridiculous in real life. And yet, despite its looks, God, I still want one. Dyson said it engineered the headset to fit comfortably and distribute weight evenly by drawing inspiration from horse saddles. There are three cushions on the headband, and the central one is slightly curved like a saddle to distribute the load through contact areas. When I put on the zone and adjusted his arms to fit my head, the whole thing felt balanced and it didn't feel heavy. The ear cups themselves were spongy and soft, and once they had clamped on, there was an immediately noticeable muffling effect. That's because the demo unit had already been set to one of the three ANC modes available. Isolation, conversation, and transparency. The highlight of my time with the zone though has got to be when they snapped that magnetic visor on. Once the mask was connected, the motors in the ear cups whirred to life and a gentle, clean smelling trickle of air started blowing at my lips and nose. It was surprisingly comfortable, and for an obsessive clean freak like me, it felt borderline magical. This could not only be the personal air bubble I've dreamed of, but also might be a portable air conditioner for the lower half of my face, which would be a blessing in the summer. The visor was also designed to diffuse two jets of airflow and at no point during my time with the Dyson Zone did I feel like I was being overwhelmed or pummeled by wind. The ear cups compressors draw air through dual layer filters, including negatively charged electrostatic filters to catch particles like allergens and dust. A potassium enriched carbon layer captures gas pollutants like nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and ozone. Earlier versions of the zone took the form of a snorkel-like mouthpiece connected to a backpack, like oxygen tanks in a scuba diving setup. 500 prototypes later, the company settled on the headset and visor combination, and the mouthpiece can deliver clean air without touching the wearer's face. The company also made a companion app that would show the air quality of the region you're in, although at the time of the meeting, it didn't show data that was more location specific than the city you're in. You couldn't, for instance, see if your place of work had more polluted air than the park you walked to for lunch, for example. The company hasn't shared pricing and availability information for the zone just yet, other than to say it's coming this year. I can already see this being a great device to wear for my future travels, whether it be on an airplane or in a commuter train. And at the demo, I even went to lay down on a couch with the zone on just to see how comfortable it would be to wear this on, say, a red eye flight. It felt surprisingly comfortable for the admittedly brief period of time I was laying down. But of course, there are still things I'd need to know before spending money on the zone, like battery life and real world performance. Hopefully, Dyson will share more information on those things soon.